Well, the drill's still here. Guess we'll go back to Seton. Hi, I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. My family's been blessed to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Hear that? Should not be making that noise. So, we got a bad internal seal inside of that cylinder on the piston. I got more on the service truck here, so I'm gonna go put the hydraulics and float. We'll change that. What happens is there's a piston on the a rod that is bolted to that rod, and that's supposed to keep a seal between the rod, piston, and the outside barrel of the cylinder. Well, if that starts leaking oil through it, it erodes pretty quick. And then our openers, our oil is bypassing through the cylinder instead of putting pressure on the ground. I'm gonna go put the hydraulics and float, let everything relax, the foil oil back, that oil flow back to the uh, tractor, and then uh, swap that out. I wore my clean work clothes today. That wasn't a good idea. It's a little bit warmer this morning, so we get to start a little bit earlier. Got to fill an inoculant tank since I ran that down last night, so we didn't have any in there since it got below freezing last night. So let's get the 450 started. Man, I love this tractor. Get that warm up. I get to walk way down there and get the Terex. So I can put some bulk bags of inoculant in that back tank. Can I already tell it's going to be a beautiful day to seed. Thing I had to grade in there. Look at that. A pen and an inoculant. Huh, awesome. Well, there's one bag down. Kind of loaded. Now ready to go seeding. So, this is really a treat. Actually, I'm treating. Another field done. Seems like it's folding up a little bit faster today. It's not as slow. Well, I got some delivery girls. Girls brought uh, lunch out, and Natalie and Mom are doing what now? Yeah, pop up. Yeah, moving some pickups around, and then they're gonna go what? Back to school? Yeah. Boo. Boo. So this kind of like recess. You gotta have a school to come out and move stuff. Yeah, we get to go go from out there. Yeah, there you go. On the way back. That's a uh, life skills class, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Go shoot some gophers on the way home. Learn how to use the gun. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Did <laughs> <laughs> you hit your head on the steering wheel too? Oh uh, yeah, and ready. Oh my goodness. Ready? <laughs> Seating shenanigans. <laughs> That's turn.
Is it busy enough seating? Got canola trucks going. Stuff is contracted for 12 bucks a bushel? Something like that. 11, 11, 10 picked up. I don't remember, it was a while ago. Not the smoothest riding truck in the park, is it? No. Canola trucks loaded, dad's let out a seat, so we're heading home to get more. Gotta okay, slow down, Macy. Here comes the Jake brakes. these C clips like this right here that holds the sprocket on for my meter on the front tank. So I took one off the back since I wasn't using that tank at the moment to get that. So I'm gonna run to the service truck quick and see what we got to make work for the back tank because I might need it here shortly. Well it looks like we got these snap rings they're just not the circle ones. Or the C, which looks like that's all we got. So maybe I can get one of them to work on that other one I stole. That should work to help keep that on there. So that'll work for now. It's really windy and cold really fast. It kind of looks like we got a storm moving in. Better get the seat. Get that knock on the tank. The tractor has a heated seat. Might need that. Busy day. Switch from Durham, finished seeding that field. Durham, dad's going over there, seeding wheat now with a drill. Got a load of wheat treated, and now I gotta take the pea truck home and get that treated. It's currently like 34 degrees out. But before I can run home to treat peas, I gotta go pick up the roller driver, man, dude, operator person, and uh, take him back to his pickup. So he's gotta ride home in her. I just had a thought. 
Why didn't we call you the BFG all last year? <laughs> Beautiful, flavorful. Big friendly giant. giant. Big friendly giant. Okay. So you're like six inches taller than everybody else. Going somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Kevin. Hey. He's out here rolling after work. At least for tonight. Tomorrow night. night. The next night. Maybe. Maybe. Now we can start treating soon. get cold I did not get all of the uh, treat out of the treater that I wanted to out of that cone because uh, that's the end of this variety of seed that we're gonna plant so I'm pumping it back into the shuttle I put this into the shop for tonight and it's supposed to get down to like 24 tonight so probably a good thing it's gonna go in here morning it's uh, 28 degrees and uh, my heater doesn't work which means it's 28 degrees in here too different lengths of the lines there in the end. It shouldn't be like that because we're mapping seed layer right there and that should just be one line as it shuts off. So I gotta figure that out too, but that's not super critical. It's working, it's just not working when the section code control shuts off. So yeah, that's what I know. But it's working, technology just isn't. So we're coming up with my last pass before I make my outside round on this field. You can see the blue down there, let it regroup itself here, there we go. See the blue is the apply zone, the gray is no apply, so my sections are turned on green, or seeded and fertilizing, the rest of these here are all shut off. Uh oh, oh white thunder, old whitey, what we used to call it, dead batteries. I think it needs an ether to start if it's like below 40, I'm guessing the ether's gone. Down to 8,000 pounds of fertilizer. I should have plenty of seed. That's almost 50 acres worth. I've got to go all the way from here, all the way around to there to finish. So I think I'm gonna be short on fertilizer. Well, that was a quick little pit stop. Got the old bee started and look at, she's blowing smoke rings. On the move. Done with this field, we're gonna move over to the east about five miles and start a half section there. But I'm gonna cross the highway like this because that power line is too low for the drill to go under it, winged up. Like both directions. Did that backwards, didn't I? Left, to the right, and then back to the left. All right, there we go. Oh, someone's coming. Oh yeah, now we can go.
started the fan after filling here and we got a problem. Leaking again. That might be a quick duct tape fix for tonight though. That's my problem. Well, that was my problem last year and I stuck this splice over it. Kind of a little patch. Fertilizer is super abrasive, so it really wears through stuff fast. So these hoses usually last about a season, especially the ones that go all the way to the outside. They really wear fast because you gotta run more air pressure to get the fertilizer all the way out there. So these corners, they all should be steel or stainless steel so they don't wear and they're straight for the tubes. So they gotta bend when you fold up the stuff. But. There you go, look at that. I don't know. Didn't find anything. It's back, 78 again. What in the world? Very little air coming there. 
There must be something stuck in here somewhere because it's rattling here. If I can shake it past it. There it is. A little piece of fertilizer. It's scared, that'd be nasty. There we go, so far so good. Doing the final pass on this field. Another one done. All right, so I gotta be a little Mike mitchell -y on you now. Leaky fertilizer hoses. Tony, why would you just replace them? We won't tell you why we won't just replace them. Those hoses cost $5 a foot. It's an 80 foot drill. Probably at least 200 foot of hose on there. So yeah, I guess pretty expensive they're gonna change those every year. Probably take and uh, get a chance. We'll just rotate those half a turn and then the wear will be on the opposite side. And it'll last the rest of the year, or two, or three. So do you think tractor engineers ever have to replace batteries in a tractor? I don't think so. If you look here, the batteries are in this box, this big black box. And the door to get in the cab on this side is right above the battery box. That's quite a step. Oh wait, there's the steps. And guess what? There's six bolts that hold that on. So if you want to take that battery box cover off, you have to take six bolts out. Smart.